Welcome to Mr. Ted Lang. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for uh, having me here uh, this morning. Um, I am what I, I now call myself uh, a footnote historian because uh, lately I'm in the uh, area of writing plays that deal with history, American history, from an African-American position. Washington's boy. If you're interested in this play, you can go on Amazon and pick up a copy of it. So what I've done is that there's a trilogy that I have now. This four, uh, George Washington Boys deals with uh, George Washington's favorite slave, uh, William Lee, held by a court. Now what happens is when you start to uncover this stuff, people want to have an argument with you. George Washington didn't have a black child. No, George Washington did have a black child, and there's evidence of it. So what I do now is, uh, uh, I did this play, George Washington's Boy, then I wrote another play uh, about a woman named Mary Bowser. Now this play is called Lady Patriot. You can also get this on Amazon if you're interested. Mary Bowser was a slave girl that was given to Jefferson Davis. Now you guys know who Jefferson Davis was? The president of the Confederacy, okay? A slave girl was given to Jefferson Davis's wife, Verena Davis. And this girl, Mary Bowser, could read and write, and she was a spy for the Union. Now people don't know that. People don't know that living in the, in the Confederate White House was a black slave girl who was getting information out to Lincoln and the Union forces. Now I, when I do my plays, I research them, I went to uh, uh, Virginia and I went to the Confederate White House and so I was asking questions about Mary Bowser. Well, they want to deny that first of all, she was even there. They say well, she, it didn't happen. So, but I had done some research, so I asked all these pertinent questions to the fact of Mary Bowser and what her life was, and the uh, docent got a little bit pissed off. But, you know, this is what they do. They, they squash our involvement in a historical moment, okay? So what am I doing now? I'm doing a play right now uh, about Harper's Ferry. You know about Harper's Ferry? Free the slave. They never talk about if there were any black people. Now what I found out, there were five black men with John Brown at Harper's Ferry. No one, I, I didn't even know this. And then when I started doing the research, what I do is I, I cross-reference and I do a lot of research. I just don't read one book because what happens if you read one book, you're going to get uh, one opinion that might necessarily, uh, have a kind of a, an agenda in what they're telling you. What do I do? So I started doing research on the author. The author was a southern man who said, never happened. The guy who was from the north said, I was there, I saw it, it happened. So that's what I'm saying. So uh, I did a lot of homework for you if you just show up. <laughs> if you just show up, come see the play. And you can have all the great conversations you want with people that are going to say, wow, John Brown this and John Brown that, because they said he was a madman and all of these things. Uh, he, the, the reason they said he was mad... International television host and founder of the Yahoo! to September of 1986. Thanks to the kind sponsorship of civil rights activist James H. Meredith, the first African American to attend a non-black cable vision in Los Angeles. The Yaba TV show currently airs on two major networks, reaching me. And Mr. Smothers, I'm so glad you introduced me to uh, Ms. Yaba and her TV show, because otherwise I maybe still would not know about it. The show is culturally diverse, educational, and very informative. And as an added plus, I love listening to the music and seeing what fabulous fashions Elizabeth will be wearing. Even the commercials are great. But... But without further ado, we're going to bring up our very special guest. Please give a warm Recycling Black Dollars. Welcome to Elizabeth Yaba. That's not good enough. Good morning. good morning! I'm going to greet you with the spirit of the motherland, Africa. 
If you watch my program, at the end of the program, you hear me say, your contemporary break to the motherland, Africa. So I'm gonna bring that spirit to you. I'll start with a very short song, but you gotta help me out. Clap your hand like this. Together, please let's do it. And I tired, I said I got to the All his dance and style, it was great. But wait until you see the real African dance. You will see the origin of, of it all. Resume reference is great, but what have you done lately? That's what matters the most. So I want to show you a little clip, all of them and fame everything. That was Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder, the of him, um, the president of Ghana, Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder, all of that. It is not a celebrated thing. It's for ordinary people also. Before I actually go to show the clip, I have a few of my sponsors that I brought. Gentlemen, please help me to welcome the lawyer, attorney Samuel Ogogu from the law offices of Samuel Ogogu. Thank you so much and thank you for having us here today. Please, in case you know someone that is injured, car accident, or your civil rights have been violated, that's the man to call. 213. 625, no, I think 624, 1500. Am I right? 624, 1500. And then I have Dr. Kadron Gill, please. This is the doctor who says he treats people from the womb to the tomb, but not so soon to the tomb. Dr. Kadron Gill is not only a medical doctor, he's also Consul General for St. Vincent and the Grand. Not very far from here. As a matter of fact, it's about maybe two miles from here, 231 West Vernon Avenue. And as uh, my lady said here, Elizabeth, that I, my mission is to is to, to serve you from the womb to the tomb, but not too soon to the tomb. That is my mission here in the community to do the best I can for my people here, to to keep them in good health because your health is your wealth. Thank you very much. Here, I'm very grateful. Thank you. His office, every time I'll come back to talk to you, is I need your support. I'm not saying give me your money for free, but at least buy my t shirts. You belong to a church, you belong to a sorority group, your high school, your re reunion, alumni, every group that you belong to, they owe it to the motherland. I'm bringing Africa to the comfort of your living room. So even if you don't want to advertise or it's seasonal, it's okay, just buy the t shirts. The more people buy, the more money we make, the more we can syndicate this show everywhere in the 50 states. Because so far, everyone that watches the show in California, they love it. And those outside California are bugging us, when are you coming to our city, our state? So you got to help me. Bringing the motherland is not easy. If I tell you my story, how I got there, it's another two days story. So but please, take this moment to enjoy Yaba! Uh, remember, if you go, if you say yabatv.com, that's not us. There are some Arab companies. I don't know how they got Yaba name, but we are the African Yaba. Y a b a dot tv. When you go to our website, navigate. Right now, some of the things we are doing, we advertise businesses, we need sponsors, but the, the idea of bringing Africa to you, a dollar a day, the entire year will cost you three sixty five. But that will only advertise your name, your phone number, your address, and your website. It doesn't um, advertise your picture or your logo. If you like to add your picture, it's a one-time fee of $250. So that means your entire yearly investment is $615, and it will get you under Yaba TV clubs. Not on the homepage. The homepage, the price is different. But we do mention the club. We try to get that just don't want to advertise to see that such a program progress, not only in California, all over the 50 states, I'm encouraging each and every one of you to do something, at least just be an advertiser. You have a TV club member. When you're a club member, you know, because each time we do the show, we advertise the club, we advertise the website, and then the radio show, if you miss the TV show, make sure you record it, set your um, VCR, or t it. Then on Sunday, 6.30 in the morning to 7, we bring the waves of Africa to you through songs and discussions. The first 10 minutes is African songs, different music, 
I, I feature countries from Zaire to Zimbabwe, Uganda, Cote d'Ivoire. So a typical American who may not know so much of their geography, when you say Africa, they only think South Africa, Nigeria, Ghana. But the rest of the many countries and dialects, that's what we bring, Yaba TV. So I travel to several different countries and I dress, diff every time you see me, I'm dressing differently. So because if you talk to an Ethiopian, they want you looking Ethiopian. If you talk to somebody from Nigeria, they want you looking Nigerian. The one thing I don't do, I am from Sierra Leone, but I don't sit there saying I'm from Sierra Leone. I'm an African woman. I represent the motherland. And tell you the truth, I'm more in the Nigerian community than any other communities. They show to the next level. So I must acknowledge them. And that's why I'm thankful. Lawyer Obugu is here. Uh, Dr. Obasi is here. And not forgetting our Caribbean doctor, which is the theme of our show, bridging the cultural divide between Africans, African Americans, and the Caribbeans. I'm bringing everybody along. But please, make no mistake, I'm also bringing other minorities. There are white people that are married to Africans. They do business in Africa, or they just visit Africa. They have a special interest. I bring everybody along. The theme is bridging the cultural divide. So today, what I'd like for you to do, I'm personally gonna go around. I need everybody to order a tea. You, your family, you're doing yourself a favor, the African heritage. At that point, you wear it, it's a statement. They see our logo, our website. Somebody goes to our website, they watch us. The show is growing. If nothing else, all the misconception, the mainstream media, some of them have given about Africa. Believe me, I bring people with PhD from Africa. You've seen some of them on the show. Doctors, lawyers with education from this country. They disseminate the information that you need to know. So it's a valuable information that you can't get nowhere else. I'm thankful dream. This is it. Africa plays a part in that dream. Today, our president, Obama, who is partially Kenyan, we bring so many people from Kenya on our show. They talk about their prideful heritage and the connection with President Obama. This only happens in this great nation, America. And so, anywhere else is almost impossible. But well, please, please, don't forget, Yaba TV needs you. If you don't want to advertise a dollar a day, cool. Or buy a t-shirt for your children, your family, your church members. You owe it to the motherland because this information, nobody else can give to you like we bring it to you. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I appreciate you. I hope I'll see you soon. The next taping of Yaba TV is on uh, May 16th, which is this Saturday. We are inviting audience. It's free. I cook real African food. It's spicy though. I cook it. I feed everybody. Sometimes we order, but my people pass that legacy to me. So if you want to taste the real taste of African food, come to the taping. It starts at 9.30 this Saturday, um, May 16th. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so, so much.